Yes, guys, I'm still in the kitchen. I'm gonna show you um, how I make my chicken salad. Chicken, chicken, yeah. I'm gonna show it to you. Now a nice tomato here from the garden. You can use this in it. I'm going to use a piece of apple. Yep. I like to put fruits, mixed fruits and vegetable in my salad. It's more enjoyable to me. I really love a mix up, mix up salad. So I use a piece of this, piece of this. Um, yeah, piece of that, piece of that. What else? What else? What else? Uh, probably use a little piece of this um, red onion, right? Just a little bit. I don't want it to overpower the thing. I don't think I need the green one. All right, you that, 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 that. What else? What else? What? Some lettuce, of course. All right. So all I have is the um this type of lettuce. So I'm gonna use this half that I have here. Oh, I like a piece of carrot in my in my thing too. You know? Yeah. I like a carrot. I'm gonna use one of them. Huh? Yes. A mushroom ready. Aye. Yeah, yeah. Remember, you're not looking for anything shiny and greasy, no, no. We don't want that. Look at the pretty color. What a pretty color, do I hear? Look on the pretty color. I'm lighting there, I'm lighting there, I'm lighting there. Yeah, got oyster mushroom. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I've just cut the mine past the grease. <laughs> yep. Okay, so, so far, this is what I have. What is missing, guys? Oh, definitely, I'm gonna put nuts and stuff in it. But there is, okay, yes, my callaloo. And get some of the baby leaf, them, pick them from runner back. And just like you'd put some baby spinach in your salad, yeah, a baby callaloo. Why is a lovely thing when you have a little garden? Whether you have it in a flower spot or what, it doesn't matter, or a big farm, but. I feel well glad so I can just burn it back and pick up a couple young leaves for color. So that's going to be my spinach when I normally put in my salad right now. So toss salad we make. I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm already going to add nuts to it. And uh, yeah. Alright, first let's start with the lettuce. Have a look at half a lettuce. I'm going to put in this bag here. Can't yeah, waste it up. No, I'm not believing it. I don't believe in a wasting. So, nice and fresh, same way. So, I'm just going to put up this, rinse it, put off. And then, look at red, red, way, you see. You know, lettuce go already. You can't just cut that off because we don't want that. All right. You can actually just rip your lettuce with your hand, you know? just rip it up with your fingers. Yeah. So, alright, now I'm just uh, put up this. Put that out there. I don't have any other type of lettuce today. Normally, I have like two or three types, but that's not what's happening today. So, to rinse this. Sometimes you get a chance to search it, you know, after you cut it up, you can see if any brown leaf and look a bad leaf in it. Yeah, anything will look like it have any bacteria, you won't get rid of that. So, first of all, I'm going to rinse off this board and this knife, right? Because I just use them cut the lettuce will never wash yet. So let me rinse this off. Ready again. 
and let me wash the lettuce. Okay, wash and drain. Now, oh, Makala Lou. These are small enough leaves. You can drop in there. Yeah. If you want, you can just break the leaf in two. If you think them too big, break them in two. Small matters, small matters. That is color low. This is something new that I've been doing. Now, I guess some people probably have been doing that before, but I just start uh, utilize color in this way, adding it to green green juice and to um toss salad. Yeah. And it works fine. There you go. Yep. And uh, let's see. While I'm at it, let me get this thing here. You know this is a this is a former grater but i think it has another name as well don't ask me amino say is a grater the thing have a nice proper proper name you know but i don't and i like this side because i just want it to sprinkle all over don't really want big chunks i know what it is any kind of fun way you can get in your vegetable just throw them in there together my dear I'm not going down too, too near enough because I'm afraid I cut. So that will have to stay right there. Somebody put it in the comment section and tell me what the name of this, this thing is. Please tell me what the name of this. Why we can't say this? Who it is? What the name of this thing is. All right. So now we have lettuce and color look. And we'll just dash color and nutrient all over that yeah yeah all right no 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 waste no wasting all right my bell pepper so let's go on like so we're chef now and cut up this so be careful you know there's a certain like a skill to it may not have it too good but i think they kind of see a fish that way there so yellow bell pepper yeah and then we'll come with the red i think the trick is to is to bend your your finger there so you this kind of push off the knife than your fingertip being all there you know kind of way i think that's how it goes Oh, it's the chef then. Yes, a curry. All right. Put in my reds, red and yellow and orange and green. Different shades of green. We must eat in colors. I let them tell me. All right. Not using a lot of this. Let's see how we go and do it. I think if we go like this, then I can get those just the formation. I like see, and then I'll do it really, really, really thin. Like really thin. Because I don't like the junky raw onion in my, in my thing at all, at all, at all. As a matter of fact, I just, just a very tiny amount. That's it. Right there. That's enough. That's enough. See there? And they say now, when you hug them up and break them apart now, you get your purple and white in there. Not too much, but just enough. Don't take me to show my onion, you know. I'm not throwing it away. I have a bag here. 
and it's going to go right back in here because when you leave out the onion in the fridge like that after it cuts it just smell up the whole fridge and you don't want that no that is not the scent you want so all right that's so far is that tomato i'm going to put this in last i'll probably just cut it up on the side for paul i don't have the the little um grape tomatoes those tiny ones so we can still use this cut up this and put in there that's what i'm going to do but i'm not going to put it in it right now because i don't eat a lot of tomato because uh bad stomach now i have a couple some grapes i have green and i have the purple grapes right i like to just cut them in halves <laughs> this is a joke you know they say when you when you're working in a restaurant i think my mom told me this story when you're new sometimes the job that they give you is to peel grape can you imagine you have a whole pan of grape and you must peel it because these printer these these are just cut i'm just slicing them in two pieces two halves are close to it two pieces i should say that one you kind of big it i go get three yeah man you get job <laughs> Right, Miss Melody, your job is to cut to peel grape. <laughs> With a peel grape or cut up grape or something, but that's some tedious little you know insignificant thing. But them get apprentice them. New newbies, newbies get the privilege of doing that. So alright. Have my grapes and stuff. Colors, colors, colors. Alright, no, not using all of this, of course. Alright, so you like half of this all right i'm going to leave the skin on i already washed this so you have to be careful with them big knife you know my sister came up from jamaica and she said hold on there up here big knife everybody have up here in michigan or what <laughs> all right so i like to do it like this kind of just go down not all the way please I don't advise you to do this with your hand right here to go cut off your hand. No, put it down and do it. Don't follow me. But anyway, I mark it. Cut it all the way down. It's still connected. And now I'm just going to go across. Right? So that way I get tiny pieces. Small enough to just sprinkle all over. The salad. I like the tanginess and sweetness sweet tangy that kind of thing as well as the crunch of grape of of the apple in my salad i love that so, yeah man i don't like the boring salad no boring salad around here have the apple chopped up and i'm just going to sprinkle it everything i get mixed up you know yeah man everything getting mixed up and I'm going to get the other little piece into it as well. Same thing, just kind of mark it. This is what I do, you don't do it. You may cut your hand. I'm trying to be very careful here, I'm afraid I cut. So. Yeah man, when you're making your salad man, make, it, make a salad that you love. And then again, maybe your salad is a simple salad. Like my sister, she loves her kale salad. With probably just some um, some grapes in it. And also olive oil. Yeah. Nothing no wrong with that. Me just love the excited salad. I just eat. I like all kind of taste in our mouth. Tanginess, sweetness, crunch. Yeah, yeah. Busy, busy. So. That's it. All right. That's it for the chopping up. Notice I just use a half of the apple. So this is what it looks like before I start, you know, mixing in everything together, blending. So everything is just thrown in here now. Okay, I might need a bigger pan so I can't turn it over without it spill all over the place. Okay, guess what? I graduate. I graduate from a small pan to a big pan. Because guess what? I don't want to waste any of this salad. Drop all over the place. No, sir. So I'm just going to dump everything in here. And then I'm going to get to stirring and mixing up.
constantly washing hands which is a good thing that's okay uh, better you wash it too much more than wash it too little all right now now for the mixing now for the mixing yay start the truth the salad look happy see the color though all right yep so we are called fully incorporated so i'm going to make a bowl like a serving size here and as usual hands clean and i may eat it so right down in it one handful whoa shot bolt mm. the bowl look nice though now i'm gonna add some nuts and i'm gonna add some seeds so i have some sunflower seed yeah give me some crunch and protein and then i have some pumpkin seed yeah you could add cranberries to this if you wanted i'm not gonna add cranberry today because the grapes are pretty sweet so that's okay but then you know you can add your salad dressing if you so desire i'm going to add the oyster mushroom which is taking the place of chicken so here goes the fried chicken now <laughs> this is your mushroom oyster mushroom fried chicken style so i'm gonna cut up two pieces of this actually now i can use a small piece so i'm gonna cut these two pieces up and sprinkle it on that salad there so this is it and i'm just gonna put this in the salad yep. i don't mind touching my food because i'm obsessed with washing my hands so i'm good yep that on that that's more protein that and my seeds are protein right wow so now i'm going to Put a little bit of the vegan dressing on it and then just yeah 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 i said a little bit down yeah but mega mixing this now i really need something i can't use my hand anymore and i stir it up like a bit yep stir it up yep nice nice and moist give it a little colorless spin give it a little iced mushroom fried chicken style spin air fryer Woo. yeah man you can always add more salad dressing if you want or you can may not want to add salad dressing all right yeah man i eat that guys we we'll do the thing try this make your salad I use the oyster mushroom as long as you're not allergic to it. And I tell you, it's a good fit. It's a good fit. Whatever you want to put in your salad, up to you. You know, it's just you like him. But may I tell you, as a substitute, yeah. Look on the thing. The thing ready. Mm hmm. This is a happy salad. Mm. Oh, mm. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me here. We need to continue to put out videos of various things concerning our life and food is certainly one part of it. So, see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye,